before I tell you this, let me say this. I am not looking for any honor, any praise, or anything like that. I am not looking for anyone to say that I am a good guy or I am not looking for any pats on the back or anything like that. I am telling you this story to stir up your faith and for you to come to God. Basically, <laughs> Maybe three or four years ago, I was really feeling bad about my sins. So I decided to give my heart to God, to begin to follow his rules and regulations. So I started to, my Lord, I started to give away free Bibles, free shoes, free clothes, pretty much free anything, really. And I spent quite a bit as well. Within the three months of doing this, or something like that, or three months or two months of doing this, I smelt this scent that I never smelt before, ever, ever. It was this rose scent and it was not too strong and it was not too light. It was really nice. And I was thinking, I don't have anything in here that has a rose scent. I don't. And I am thinking too, there is no perfume in here that smells like a rose. Any women that come here or anyone that comes into this home don't wear any rose perfume, I don't think. Everywhere else, I did not smell this rose scent, but only in my room. Hmm. So on the third day, I was thinking, wait a minute. There is something to this scent. This is not a natural scent. This is a supernatural scent. I don't know anything about perfume. I really don't know anything about cologne either. But somehow, I was able to understand that in ingredients or whatever you call it, or a note in the perfume was something not of this world. And that scent stayed in my room for a week, a whole week. I knew that it is of God. So after a week, I did not smell it. Maybe two days or a day, hmm, two days after that week, so nine days later or two days later, I guess you can say, I was thinking to myself, man, I wish I can smell that rose scent again. And within seconds, that scent came back. And I believe it came back for, I forget, maybe two hours, I believe. So I went to my pastor 
and I asked my pastor what is going on or where is this scent coming from? My pastor told me that when the Holy Spirit is pleased, pleased, he releases a rose scent. And I did some research on the internet as well. And from what I learned, that is true. That is true. It was amazing. I never smelt this scent ever. But from helping out many people and following God as well, I was able to smell that supernatural scent that is not of this world, I am telling you. Now, if an average guy like me can experience something like this, Imagine what you are able to do. Imagine the heights that you can reach in God. I am telling you, it is not that hard. Obedience, that's it. So let me stop here. God bless you.